Hi everyone, it's great to see you. I'm Miss Morgan, um, the children's librarian at the Mandeville branch. And today for our craft short, we are going to be making a llama, but not just any kind of llama. We're going to weave on um, a little blanket. So this is our weaving llama. I added some pom-pom balls here too. So we're gonna work on that today. So what you need for our llama <laughs> and um, what you should have received in your craft bag, which you can pick up at any of the large branches, um, is really just a piece of cardboard. You need some scissors, um, some supplies to draw with. I just have a Sharpie and some markers. That works totally fine. Any crayons um, and paint would be lovely though too. Um, and then really you just need one kind of um, base yarn and that is called your warp if you're ever curious but just one kind of basic piece of yarn and then one longer um, yarn that you're actually going try not to knot it like I am but yeah so one longer uh, piece of pretty yarn and that's what you're going to actually be using for the blanket side you also need some tape and if you are going to add the pom-poms just get a few small pom-poms and a hot glue gun works best um and so the first thing we're gonna do is actually cut out our llama. And as you can see, I had a really rough cut. You know, cutting cardboard can be kind of tough. So don't, no pressure on making it perfect. Um, what looks cool is having an outline on it and that's how you kind of start to see the llama. So really, you're just gonna wanna have a base. I have a template cut out here. That was easiest for me. Um, but you really, too, too, another thing you wanna make sure of when you're cutting out your llama is making sure that it's the body is long enough and wide enough because that's how we're gonna be weaving. Okay, so I have a little template um, and I'm just gonna draw a quick outline here, but as you can see, my template is even bigger than my cardboard. So it's really just a guesstimate um, here, so. I'm gonna go ahead and you really just wanna draw very loose drawing, right? Because like I said, you're not gonna be able to cut the cardboard perfectly. Okay, so that's my very loose llama, right? And for this, you're gonna want some strong scissors or you might wanna have a parent help you out with that, okay? Um, and then you go ahead and cut out your llama. could be a little tricky too, but that's okay. Starting to see a llama, right? And for this, I'm just gonna kind of cut some ears. Okay. Okay, so now we have our very loosely cut out llama. And what to make it look a little bit cleaner, one thing you can do is kind of outline it with a Sharpie. And this will kind of give the llama a little bit more body. Make our little tail, get the back going, give him the little ears. There we go. And um, we'll work on drawing the rest of him, but I feel like giving him an outline definitely helps, right? So you can, you're starting to see your llama. So the next thing that we're going to do is make the slits that we're going to then put the warp on or the basic um, yarn, I should say. So go ahead 
and you want them to be not too deep in. See how in our template we just have, they're very tiny, not, not huge. Um, and you want them to be even and across from each other. And I have five um, slits that we're putting in on the top and bottom of his body. So I'll just do really tiny. One, two, three, four, five. And then you flip them over and do the other side directly across, right? One, two, three, four, five. And it's okay if it's not perfectly even, you just wanna do your best, okay? Next, go ahead and take, this will just kind of be the string that we're using to weave on, but this will uh, get us started. So you're just gonna wanna string it around the slits of the body, and how you can do that is Go ahead, make sure you have a little bit loose and just string it through around the body. So you, and it, having those slits kind of helps a little bit with that. So one, so you should have five lines you can kind of cut. And then all we're going to do, I might want to cut a little bit smaller. Sorry about that. And you're just going to go ahead and tape. Painter's tape works best, by the way, or um, scotch tape is fine, but painter's tape or masking tape. Masking tape would work best. And go ahead and you just tape it on the back, just like that. Then you flip it back over, and now we are almost ready to weave. So this is when you take your pretty string. Look at that pretty string. Pretty yarn, I should say. And what's gonna help us with weaving? So um, you don't need a weaving um, needle, actually. What works even better sometimes, you just take a little bit of that masking tape, go ahead and rip a little off, and you just put it on the end. And that makes it sturdy enough to kind of bring it through. And you just go ahead and roll it on up. So then you have, this will kind of work as a needle almost, right? Oh, I'm so sorry. So like I said, this will work as a needle. And then I would just take the end. I might have made this a little too long, I would say. So you really don't want it too, too long. I mean, this isn't, I would say about two feet of yarn should be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut. I have about an extra foot and a half. So I'm just gonna cut it so it's about, so your pretty weaving yarn should, like I said, be about two feet long, okay? Let me get all of this other stuff out of the way here. Apologies. Go ahead and take the end, so not the end that you're weaving with, but the actual end, and you can go ahead and tie a little knot, just kind of squeeze it on through. Tie a little knot around the top, and that will keep it, that will get us started. So just go ahead and tie it like this. right at the top there. And we'll cut that at the end. It's just good to have it as a marker. So once we um, have tied the end of the string to the top here, to get started, the easiest way to do this is to kind of just put the, um, the tape side down um, all the way through. So how you're gonna do it is going under that first string over the second one, under the middle, and you might have to maneuver it a little bit. It can be a little tri 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 yeah, tricky, but, um, and then you see how it's over, and then you go under. So see how you have that? 
under that one, over, under, over, under. And then you just bring it on through. And you pull, pull, pull. And that is your first row. And then you do the opposite for the second row. So you take it, um, you take your thread around again, and you're actually see how that's under. So that's how you'll let's get that little piece of cardboard out. There we go. Sorry. So see how that first row we have it starting um, where it's under. So then we're going to go over, and then we'll go under this one. We're doing the exact opposite of what's in that first row. So you just keep pulling over, under, and then over, and then you pull. And you don't want to pull it too tight, right? Because you don't want to stretch out the strings. But you do want to squish them together like that. Okay. And now we'll do the opposite again. So under, over, under, over, under. See, and you pull. So you just keep doing that the whole way down until the body is covered. And we're already starting to get a really pretty design. See that? Okay. So start it, we go under, over, under, over, and pull. See how I'm pushing it up too, just to make sure it stays even, and then it's helpful to see, you know, in case you forget what you have to do, because you always want to do the opposite. Under, over, under. So as you can see, you kind of start to get that nice little weaving pattern. 
And you just keep going over and over again until you get to the bottom. So I would say we have maybe one more row left here and then you tie it off. So let's do our last row together. Um, we'll go under. I know you kind of have to tug at it a little bit, um, but it should get looser as you go. But this is Okay. And you could keep going if you wanted to. I'm gonna use the pom-poms though, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up with this one. And how you end it is you kind of just, so go under that last warp there, that last piece, and you just leave a little loop to go ahead and make a knot. Just like that. Get your scissors. Go ahead and cut off the loose ends as close as you can. So then you have our beautifully weaved llama. And now we can kind of go ahead and have fun decorating it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing a face so you can get a Sharpie or a black marker and just Get our little eyes. And then our nose is just a little carrot like that. Smiley face. And I have a pink marker. I'm gonna give him a little bit of blush. Cause he's so happy. Nice and warm, get a little ears. And just a little orange to kind of make the nose. Like that. And of course, he's got to be wearing a big, fun, call them reins or a necklace, bandana. And this time I'm just going to make little, little triangles. But you can really do anything that you want with this. Decorate him or her or just your llama, however you want. Whatever makes you happy. You could even Yeah. You could even give him a little mustache or a hat if you wanted to. Whatever you want to do. I'll do maybe some little dots on top. Just like that. And so like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and um, put on the pom-poms, um, but I would really only recommend doing this with a hot glue gun, and you might want a parent to help you with that, okay? So before you go ahead and run and do that, make sure you have um, your parents' permission. But what you're just, it's really easy. You're just gonna go ahead, take the pom-pom, just the littlest dab of glue. You really don't need that much, and you just stick it on the end, like that, okay? Littlest thing of glue, stick it on the end. And then I think I'll do a green, because why not? actually purple would go better. Littlest thing. Get all that excess glue off. Okay, guys. And there you have it. The main part is um, getting that weaving done. So as you can see, like I said, you just wanna make sure you have five even rows of the uh, warp yarn or just the solid yarn, and then you just go over and under the whole time. And there you have our weaving llama, okay? Very awesome, y'all. Um, it was really great to see you for this craft short. We can't wait to see you all summer long with um, the Tales and Tales Summer Reading Challenge. Um, it was great to see you again and um, happy reading.